What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jared. Today, we're going to be looking at a video that was posted a few days ago, and this is about a lot of OF content creators. And um, I haven't reviewed this video yet, so let's con let's watch it together. Here we go. And let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so what's your name? My name's Adriana Gamboa. Adriana. Adriana Gamboa. How old are you? I'm 30 years old, and uh, if you uh, want to know about me, okay, well, then just let me know. Yes, I've been up in the hood, and I've been getting things misunderstood. I told you, yes, I, I've been real, real good, but hey, I'm not real perfect. Though, and I told you, yes, man, I'm kind of being slow because I, I need my medication, ho. So don't act like y'all y'all don't know. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> that's actually pretty good. <laughs> off the top of the head or what? Off the top of the head. No, so but what's your current situation right now? You homeless? These fucking drug kids. My God. <sighs> Here we fucking go. Um, I, I, yes, I guess you could say I'm currently um, uh, homeless right now. I haven't been um, in, a, in a stable situation after I got kicked out of my apartment um, due to the fact that I guess I didn't, I, I didn't pay the rent um, because I wasn't uh, working enough hours and I didn't, um, didn't make the cut but at the same time uh i needed help you know what i mean because i do have disabilities and 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 things that you know affect me on a daily basis if you have disabilities you should be in the disability check oh boy and uh that's uh one thing that that could have helped me back then you know what i mean um, in order for me to prevent, you know, that situation happening. Um, and yes, yeah, so right now I'm just working on trying to um, stay clear-headed and uh, and get my get myself together to get my kids back. You know what I mean? And How long ago did you lose your apartment? It's or been. Was it a house or an apartment? It was an apartment. apartment. It was an apartment and. Um, it's been like about two months, two, three months, maybe. Yeah. Oh, so you're new out here on the streets? Kind of, yeah. Is it dangerous? It's pretty dangerous. <laughs> it's pretty dangerous. I have a paranoia and PTSD and anxiety and all that. So is that due to the streets or? It's due to the streets and yeah, like just running into quite a few characters. You know what I mean? You know, I've noticed something about a lot of these women. A lot of these women's hair is dyed. If you look really closely, her hair, right there in that part, you can see her her edges and they're dark. I'm not saying that that's the reason why, but that's just a little fact that I've kind of noticed. Let's get it. But yeah, no. Other than that, I've I kind of feel pretty safe. You know what I mean? This yeah. is my city, and I like I'm not gonna walk around like all scared. You know, like I live here. You know what I mean? This is my this is my home. So you know, get down out here. Yeah, like, but at the same time, I don't because like I really don't be walking around like people's neighborhoods. You know what yeah. I mean? But hey, if I fall through, then you know I pop up, and that's that's when I pop up. <laughs> So you're from Phoenix though, right? Yeah. What area did you grow up in? Uh, West West Phoenix. I grew up around West Phoenix. I'm from- Maryville? Um, no, is it Maryville? No, it's not. It is Maryville, what huh? What area was it? Carl Hayden. I, grew, I graduated from Carl Hayden. Is it like on 43rd Avenue, you told me? Yeah, 43rd McDowell. McDowell, that, yeah, I think that that is Maryville. Yeah. 
I grew up on from? Portland, actually. Portland, okay. Portland Street. How was your childhood growing up? My childhood growing up was, uh, it wasn't, um, you know, too pizzazz, but it was, I was, mean, I can't complain. It was pretty fun, you know, like growing up with my primos and primas. Uh, the holidays, getting together, it was always good, you know what I mean? You have a big family? Um, I could say yes, I do have a big family. It's lots of family I don't know in all kinds of parts, Texas, Colorado, Washington, Mexico, you know what I mean? But yeah. So you say you went to school at Carl Hayden? Carl Hayden, I also went to Phoenix College. I went to Arizona College for pharmacy tech and um, for, for dance and uh, psychology. Pharmacy tech. You went to Arizona State for pharmacy tech. Why are you homeless? Did you graduate high school? I graduated high school, yes. And what about like <laughs> your college? I didn't uh, finish my college, but I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm gonna get back into it. Okay. I'm gonna get back into it. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Do you have kids? I do have kids and I miss them very much. I just, um, I don't, I don't want to, um, like half ass anything, like when I, when I'm see when I get to see them, you know, like I want to be ready and, uh, so they could be with me, you know what I mean? Because I know ultimately like they, it doesn't matter what I have or what I don't have. My kids, I know they're always going to love me. Who they with right now? They're with their dad, their father. Okay. Yeah. So they're doing good. They're Guys, I'm going to tell you something, man. This is so disgraceful and it's so sad. You know, and you know, she she you could hear that she's mentioning that her kids are with her with their father and they're doing well with their father. And this is the results of what happens when a woman wants to do her own thing. She wants to be on the streets. She wants to she wants to live a certain life. If we look at her, she's not she's not a bad looking woman. She's 30 years old, to be honest with you. She looks a lot better than a lot of the 23 and 24 and 25 year olds that we've seen that look like 55 and 65 and 70. And like, you know, the Grim Reaper is just like saying, hey, girl, how you doing? And they're like, hey, you, how you doing? Because <laughs> they know each other. They know they know they, they, they know they're going to have to roll together real soon. So they're getting acquainted. But, you know, she doesn't look terrible for 30. She doesn't look too terrible for 30. The problem is that, you know, it's the lifestyle she's living. You basically have to assume everything a woman is saying is a lie or she's, she's leaving out a lot of things. For example, there's this thing called blues that I learned about from you guys. And now you hear about in these videos, there's a lot of these homeless women in Arizona. And, you know, you just look at it like she's not she's not telling the entire truth. She is not telling the entire truth like, oh, I guess I wasn't making enough money for my job. And, oh, you guess you weren't making enough money from your job or you were or you were using certain things. Right. You're using certain substances because that's what it really sounds like right now. Like what's going on? You know, she's she's pretty well kept. She looks decent and it seems like she's staying somewhere. But based on the way she's dressed, like this looks like someone who's who's been on the streets. This like this looks like, looks like someone who goes on dates. Right. Let's just be real about this. You can you can piece these things together very, very quickly. You know, she has family all over. She has tons of family. So Mexico, guys, she she could if she needed to get off the streets, she can go over to Mexico and stay with her family. A lot of these Mexican Mexican women in the United States that are that are homeless in the U.S. They're homeless by choice. Like if you're in San Diego or you're in Arizona or maybe even Texas, bro, you can just go. You can go to a border town. A lot of the time, they have family right across the border, and they do go across the border. They'll go over there, chill with their family, be cool. They have a they have a roof over their head. They have everything they need. Food over there is dirt cheap, dirt cheap, guys. All right, they are up to. They, they, I don't want to say no good, but it's literally it's the equivalent of no good. They can go, they can be over there and they can be chilling over there and living. I lived in Mexico. They can be over there chilling and living very well. So why are they in the United States? Oh, because there's something that they want on the streets. 
Okay, they rather be on the streets. They're on the streets for a variety of different reasons. So they get access to their substances so that they can go on dates on the streets and make more money because you're not going to make that much money going on dates on the streets in Mexico, but you can make a lot more money, a lot of money doing dates on the streets in the United States. So they're on. So that's why that's one of the big reasons why they're over there. And trust me, right now, a lot of these girls have an OF. They have an Only Fools account. You're, you know, they're on Lonely Fans, and they're not making that much money because on Lonely Fans, the average person earns like hundred eighty-one dollars a month. That's the that's what the average creator earns, and it could be less than that because that's the average. That's not the median. All right. So a lot of these girls are not even earning that, but you know, they they're earning less than a thousand dollars a month. The average the average one is only earning one hundred eighty-one dollars, and it's a virtuous cycle because. Only fools leads to the streets, and the streets leads to only fools. So they're making, they're going on dates on only fool. They're going on dates on the streets. They're sell, they're, they're, you know, they're they're selling their wares on only fools, and they're also looking for prospective uh, guys that you know want to want to you know do sugar because they like do they do sugaring, you know they do sugaring. So they're looking for sugar sugar dads on uh, sugar dads and sugar gramps on on on, on these platforms. And it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I remember like 10 years ago, some girl hit me up on Instagram. I'm like, oh, I think it was like 10 years ago. And I'm like, oh, hey, how, how's it going? And she's like, uh, she's like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. She's talking real chill to me. And I'm like, all right, you want to go out? She's like, yeah, sure. But it's going to be this many roses. And I'm like, excuse me, I'm not giving you any money. And she, and she literally responded to me like, well, then you're not going to get any kitty. All right. You're not going to get any kitty. And I'm like, excuse me? So, yeah. Um, a lot of this is uh, turning out to be an issue. Despite what Angry said, she said that she was a Pharmacy, a pharmacy tech. Why are you homeless and you have that education? You should be in a pharmacy. You should be in a pharmacy. We America is hurting for pharmacists right now. That's the shit I don't understand. You're saying you're a pharmacy tech and you have your degree, yet. You're living on the streets, not making any money. And then you said that your kids are with their dad. Why are you not with their dad? What could have potentially happened that would have caused you to not be with their dad? Or, better question. Why would you not be with, your, with their dad? See, the more and more of these videos and shit is coming out, it's starting to just seem like a lot of these women are ungrateful. That's what it's starting to seem like to me. But I don't know. It's 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 not adding up right. Cause the fact of the matter of it's that the more and more I'm doing this, the more and more I'm starting to see starting to hear a lot of other shit come out, the more and more I'm thinking like, this is all by choice. You have the degree, you have the education, you have the quote unquote, quote unquote mindset. Where's your mindset in getting and building your own? Was your mindset in actually developing your skills and your education so that you can actually go into that field that you're special specialty in? It's not adding up to me. But that's gonna be it for me tonight. I will see you guys on the flip side. Thank you guys for listening. I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for listening. Catch you guys later. Bye guys. <laughs>